Today is day two of the now annual trade show for the marijuana industry. This event has been, well, growing like a weed. Now 25,000 people exploring all aspects of the marijuana industry gathered in Las Vegas. Nevada, of course, one of 10 states where recreational pot is legal. Could be coming to our area very soon. Let's bring in our eight plus panel for tonight's show. So Bill, let's start right off the bat. You're at this conference. I understand you met a veteran who had no expectation of ever getting involved in this business. Tell me about it. Yeah, it's an interesting sort of uh, collection of people. Um, and, and this gentleman is uh, an Iraq war veteran wounded in combat, um, came back to the United States and was involved in a, a bakery display company. And uh, as he said, the cannabis uh, industry found him. 13 years ago in 2006, Cold Corps was born into the food service industry. Uh, we started selling refrigerated display equipment to the high-end chocolate industry. Marijuana, it, it basically serves the same uh, skill set. 55% relative humidity uh, control at 65 degrees, which is what the display cases achieve. A lot of uh, industries that are looking to uh, cross-pollinate now come over to this. And there's a lot of conversations going on about some of the concerns that you're raising about how do we do this right. And remember, this is both the medical side and then a more, the more controversial adult use recreational side. Allison, has the legalized recreational pot crowd finally figured it out? They, the social justice really fell a little bit flat, a spike in, in black and Hispanic youth arrests, and then the whole side of whether or not this is going to uh, impact the opioid crisis. They can't really put any real numbers to that. Right. So now they're saying, well, wait a minute, jobs and money. Yeah. What do you think? There is a huge industry forming around marijuana across the U.S. and the states that are legalizing it. You cannot find a municipal or statewide official who isn't talking about the kind of revenue that this is going to bring. It's not just jobs, it's revenue because it won't be long until pe people figure out how many different ways they can tax it. Bill, now to Allison's point, um, at least in New Jersey, where the legislature is likely to consider this uh, in the month of November, if not December, how is the conference group of business folks addressing the very legitimate objections in terms of increasing kids using drugs, increase, increase arrest, uh, burden on law enforcement? What are they saying? So there's good conversations going on, not necessarily around the industry, but just about the advocacy movement. And what we're looking at here is how are we educating mayors and law enforcement officials about the right and proper way that you can deal with this in your town? Allison, uh, let's just switch gears a little bit. You've got the marijuana industry uh, selling aggressively where it's legal. You've got um, uh, flavors and candies, gummy bears, a whole thing. Um, but then the FDA is making a move now to ban e-cigarettes that are flavored because they say it appeals to kids. They're looking now at a ban on menthol cigarettes because they say it's targeted to uh, the black community and particularly black youth. They're um, targeting these menthols because they uh, they target children. And so, you know, there was like a 78 percent increase of tobacco smoking among high schoolers, 48 percent increase among middle schoolers. That is troubling to the to the Food and Drug Administration. I think it's something we should all be worried about. Bill, on that point, how does the marijuana industry reconcile that they're pushing out uh, candy pot? I mean, <laughs> if, if that doesn't appeal to kids, what does? Well, the good news here is the industry's gotten in front of this. So there aren't gummy bears. There are gummies. There are edibles, but they're not allowed to be shaped in anything that would be appealing to children. They also are. They leave in a flavor like a that cookie? would be a similar. A brownie? Well, Bill, this a brownie? stuff is, is very expensive and it's set and it's it, it, it's it's marketed towards adults not to kids so i think the industry's done a pretty good job thus far of keeping this out of the hands of children unlike what you're seeing in some of the vaping community all right i have so much more to say but i'm out <laughs> we'll of be time talking about it all right we'll be back when you're back in town i got a lot more to say so it's just a function of how they marketed this anyway lots more to come be safe we'll see you soon thanks bill thanks allison